even as more and more Kentuckians get vaccinated against COVID-19, there's still some hesitancy. We talk with those on the front lines in encouraging and or administering vaccines, especially in the Hispanic and African American communities. People are getting a lot of their information from social media. One of the battles that we're having to fight is like, they see these videos, they see this information, and then sometimes they have an appointment to get their vaccine and then they cancel it. Right now, not only Radio Lex, but other organizations, we're getting together to try to uh, send that message from a local point of view of what is happening. Because sometimes what happens is like people know more what's happening on their own countries or, on the, or in the communities where they come from right. than what is really happening here. So it's, it's been a challenge all this pandemic to actually get that information to everybody. The, the vaccine hesitancy in communities of color to me was never the driver. To me, it was the systemic things, the racism of the healthcare system, mm -hmm. Uh, access to the virus itself, transportation issues to get to a site to get the vaccine or to get tested. Yeah. Or even to sign up. Or you even to sign up. So, so there we go. We have some, yes. some literacy issues there with, as it relates to at computer access. We do hope you'll tune in for this special edition of Connections on Vaccine Hesitancy Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Time on KET, the main channel, at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday on KET2. And you can watch online anytime after that at KET.org slash connections. I sure hope you'll join us.